welcome to Mickey's Table. Today we have two special guests. On our first part of the show, we will have the infamous, or should I say the famous, uh, that's what they told me to say so. Uh, we will have the famous actor Kevin Samus. And for our second part, we will have Oh god, I forgot his name. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I have it right here in my notes. I swear I have him. There you go. Billy the Hillbilly. So, please, let's welcome Kevin Samus, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here, my good sir. Thank Mickey. you. Thank you for being here, Kevin. Yeah, my pleasure. You know, that's Thank what you're blessing, so that's what I'm saying. My new slogan, my pleasure. Yes. Uh, excuse me, I'm wearing sandals. It's kind of hot and cold, so. No, it's kind of smell like feet. I was going to say, what's that smell? Pretty cheesy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, A lot of fake laughing, and you're supposed to be one of the greatest actors, and you couldn't give me a realistic act. A, a realistic. Um, that was my real laugh. You want a fake one? You want a fake one? That is my fake laugh. That, that I made the, <laughs> that was a real laugh. So. Interesting. So, to, here, let me tell you a Today, story. no, give me a second. Okay. Today, let me, let me just start because this is my show. Today, we will be asking you questions that the fans have submitted that they want to know about you, okay? So, this is what the show going to be about today. Plus, if you know, if we're permitted to do one or two games, we'll do one or two games. All right. I'm... It just depends on how this goes. How this goes. Yes. Oh. Uh, now, I. Okay, you got me interested on in the story that you were gonna say. Cause... Tell us. Tell All right. Us. So um, when I was younger, people in school used to bully me because of my laugh, and. It reminded me, you brought some childhood memories when you said that that was a fake Childhood laugh. trauma? Yes, some childhood memories. That's what I like to call them because trauma, that sounds too bad. I understand, I understand. But they used to bully me I because understand. I had a horrible laugh. It was, oh yeah, oh, oh, <laughs> So they said I sounded like Goofy uh, and I brought some childhood trauma. But I'm better now. Yeah, that's my story that I have to tell all of you. It's really embarrassing, but... It is what it is. Okay, I'm ready to start. Okay. Because it wasn't even funny, nor embarrassing, or interesting. I'm exposing I, myself. Mm, Alright, we didn't, we didn't ask for that, but... Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. <sighs> okay, well, the first question submitted by Elm Street123, Elm Street123. Uh, okay. It says, we would like to know in your own words, describing the style of your acting. Can you describe the style of your acting? <sighs> and this question was asked by Elm Street 123, Elm Street 123. Is he a fan of Freddy Krueger? Most likely, as I am as well. Okay, so it's a really hard question because Kevin Samus, as an actor, he doesn't generally have a style of acting it's mostly a little bit of everything he really loves kevin really loves a lot of improvising you know when they give him the script he memorizes the script but he also improvises so his style i would say will be a lot of improv yeah really hard question but good question good question i'm on the street one two three good question how do you take upon his role that you've been given? His role? How do you take upon each role oh, that each. you have okay. been Sorry. given? It sounded like you said his. Um, each role. How do I take a part of each role? Upon. 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 So how, what do you mean? Can you Apparently uh, he, can, he probably has like... No, like, I just have know, a script. Ear I, no, I just issues. booked a job and I have the script. Oh, I cannot say what project, but I booked... Okay, there's. You need to separate that to this because you're here right That's now. That's why I'm speaking in third person. There. All right, I'm trying to separate both. Okay, yeah. Okay. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that? How do I upon? How do I what? 
How do you take a pun H role? Can you all elaborate a little bit more about that? Like, how do I get into character? That that's what the question means. Oh, okay. so like, what do you not understand? Do you just... know what I'm talking like? Do I know? Uh, you're yes. Confusing me yes. Now. Okay, my bad. Are you that slow or? Sometimes. When I well, cannot, when my well. brain is going too fast, I cannot comprehend too. Uh, sometimes. But how do I? get yes. into my character wow. so i usually play some music right that's the best way to get into character play some loud music and then just let everything out read the script like not what i meant but you said how no, do i get keep, into keep, character keep going, keep going. well i'm telling people how do i get into character memorize the script and give like a performance okay well everyone's different that's okay that's how you take upon the character that how do you prepare? Let me let me put it let me put it this way. How do I prepare? How do you prepare? Like to for a character, any like character. To be a, uh, like Mr. Green. To bring him alive. How how oh. do you prepare? How do you memorize your script, your lines? How do you bring that character okay, to life? I get it. I get it. I get how? it. How? I understand. I I understand. I understand the question. I understand the question now. I get it. Okay. So, how do I prepare? How do I remember my script? As I said. I play music and I start reading the script over and over and over. I read it three times and then I put it away and then whatever I could remember, I start uh, repeating and repeating and repeating it without looking at the script and then after that I memorize that Then I go either I start reading the next lines or I read the main um, letters. So if it's like, I don't know, I'll remember I and then make up the words I don't know and then that's another way I start memorizing. And then like to get into character, like let's say he's mean or like crying, I think about like sad ones or how do I create the character? That's, if there's books about it, series, I will watch them. Or like in my mind, I'm like, so what kind of character is he? Why did he became that person? And then I try to find, relate to that character. And that's how I create the character. Like Mr. Munch, you're a mean one. <laughs> That's how I do it. And play music, and that kind of relaxes my brain and helps me memorize. Uh, before going on set, I like putting on either headphones or listening, all the, turning up the music all the way up so I can relax, memorize everything, get in, everything before I get there, and give the show off a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's your next question, my good sir? Uh, I wasn't expecting... I was suspecting something else. Oh, what? Uh, what do question. you? That's the truth. You want me to lie? Oh no! no, no, no. I go out on dates just to see how, how, like, if they can break up with me, so I can become mean, like the Grinch, or like get my heart broken to relate to that. Like, no, no. Why would I do that? You know, get drunk because the character is drunk. No, I will not do that because I am underage. Even though I'm playing someone who's 25, no, I will not do that. What? Wow. Wow, what? Did I say something wrong? Well, no, if I no, offended no, someone, no. I'm sorry. How but that's me. You, wait, what? Okay, the word you're you said, taking wow. this, You are taking this out of proportion. How am I taking it out of proportion? You're going you, to the extreme. You offended me. Why the fuck would you go and break... Go on a date? Like, where because does this even come you from? You said that you didn't expect... You yeah, can, your you your techniques, work. your techniques, and how you prepare are so fucking. Now you know what. Let's move on. Everyone is where. Different. Yes, that's that's what I that's what I I've been saying the whole freaking time. Everyone's different. I prepare differently when I do my. You role. only book me for twenty minutes. Your next. I question. did not book you. You decided to come to my show. Next you were paid question. On, next question. You were paid unlimited time. See, you're getting mm -mm. next question. You're getting defensive because I you am, are not liking what I'm telling you. I'm not. Exactly. I am not getting defensive. I'm yes, not you are. You literally like... started screaming. No, am wow, I screaming? Okay, moving on. Moving on. Oh goodness gracious, Laura Versace, give me patience. Anyways, next question. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next question. You just made me. I thought you had it. Well, I did. And he's a talk show. Host? Okay. Yeah, but your fucking craziness, it's making me upset. It's I'm not even going to say the that. fuck out of me right now. That's why you're... Where right. did you study acting? Lore, Lore wants to know. And this one's, this question came from uh, Instagram. Instagram? 
<laughs> okay. We take questions from anywhere. I know. We I, do not. It, I never said there was something wrong because that's what I used to do before becoming an actor. There's nothing wrong. There's no shame of that, so. Shame of what? What the fuck are you even talking about? This Anyways, is, Lorraine. Everything that's coming out of your fucking mouth makes no sense. I'm not even saying anything wrong. Everything you just I said there's nothing sense. wrong with it. Well, there's nothing wrong with what? Lorraine. Lorraine. Just she sent it through Instagram. We I have Instagram, TikTok, uh, X, X. They, you know, we got questions mm -hmm. from all, you know, and every I never, platform. I never said there was nothing wrong with that. You literally said there's nothing wrong with that. Because well, I that used she to said, do it. That she sent her oh, question through Instagram. Okay, the fuck Lorraine, are you talking about? Let me the answer the moron. question, rude. Lorraine, I went to New York Juilliard. I went to the school of Juilliard, and that's. Where I got hired after I attended Juilliard. I went to Juilliard, the School of Performance. Do you know that school? It's the most prestigious school out there. For how long? It's a four year. It's a university, but just for acting and theater. How long, how long were you there? I was there for four years. I yeah, you're really not a good, you're not musical theater. That's absolutely not for you. Singing, it's absolutely not for it you. It is. Because I'm the love of What love. actor inspired you to become an actor? Myself. No, I'm kidding. What actor? Ooh. And this comes from John John on TikTok. John John, the actor that inspired me to become an actor. Well, someone that inspired me that I like his acting and I, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Be Tell them. Well, I want you to hear it too because you I'm, don't know I'm this story. I'm listening. You see, he's on Facebook right now. I'm Anyways. actually reading the follow-up okay. question, okay. but Jim, we're not going to do that anymore. Jim Carrey mm -hmm. is my inspiration because wow. he's a different actor. Absolutely. He came from... No Everyone's different. No, because he met, uh, he's really interesting as a person mm -hmm. because he came from nothing, right? And he manifested everything. He wanted it. Like, have you seen the videos where he was like, oh, I want, uh, I had no money. And then I wrote a check of $10 million on a piece of paper and said it would expire on this day. And a few months before it expired, he booked the role of the green mask and he got paid $10 million. He manifested his career, his job, his life that he wanted. It, and that's really inspiring. Wow, that's really but he inspired me of his wow. acting because I really love his uh, comedies. Like his what was Long Young? Young Lon wants to know, what was your first performance? Long Jong Jong Lon, my first performance, oh, this is hard, I don't remember. Like professional performance or like school? Professional performance, thank you very much. Can it be social media? No. Okay, my official debut on screen. Your official what? Debut. Debut. Debut? How do you debut. Debut. My official de uh -huh. debut uh -huh. on screens, big, small. Uh -huh. It was uh, a commercial that you can see on. It was only in LA and on social media, but you can you can find it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Carrie Carrie X wants to know what is your last performance, your last acting job as far. I was gonna be like, well, I still haven't what, gotten what to is... that point for my last, and that's it. You know, I still have. No, I, I but still, so... okay, the last one that you've done. What is the last movie show that I filmed that hasn't that been you... released or released already? Because yes. if it's been released, then you already you you can just search it up and it's gonna pop up. Okay, but shut the my... fuck up and just answer the question. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. <laughs> my last film. That I make, that it's out. It actually, that's why I'm here to promote the movie, which we haven't talked about it. But anyways. We were not here to promote the movie. At the beginning of my show, I told them what we were going to do. And that was for you to answer questions that the fans, your fans, have sent to me for you to answer. Because well, you don't answer those okay, questions. Okay, my bad. It was our reality show. I never bad. got an email from your team. Or the movie company that you worked for, that if we could promote your movie. Okay. okay. That was never the deal. I, that was never I, the I case. I understand. The last project that came out, it's the my, this, my, is, my, this is fucking ridiculous. Can I speak? 
It's my brother and I's reality TV show, the same as bro's reality TV show. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's the best thing out there. And then I have a movie coming out, but I cannot talk about it because the trailer hasn't dropped yet. But that's coming out. It's a superhero movie. So then shut the fuck out. up and don't talk about it. Why I'm would not you saying be, the why name. Why would you be telling them it's a superhero movie? I'm they don't even know what it is about. I'm not saying the name. I'm just saying it's a superhero movie so they can get happy. Did I say Marvel? Did I say DC? Did I say Amazon? No, I did not say that. Okay? What a shame. Yeah, you are. Sure. What's the last question before I rage quit? Are you quitting acting? Oh, overall? I would never quit that. This show you because You literally this... just said before I rage quit. Your show. This you said right in general. Here because your ratings are very bad. Wow, my it, my show's number one. You, they're number one right now because I'm here. I'm actually making it entertaining. No, you're actually dropping my ratings You have right a now. morning show. You don't even have a night show. Night shows are the best because that's when people tune in. In the morning, everyone works. No one is watching this. But right now, because I'm here, they're watching. So you're literally telling the overly people that they don't even exist because they don't watch it. They I'm watch saying, morning news. They watch morning show. No, you just call stay, me lazy. No, you did. Stay at home moms. They watch. Stay at home dads. They watch. People that don't work because not everyone works on Monday through Friday. They sometimes have, you know, odd days during the week. Uh, yeah. And so they watch. So, you know, everyone's different. You're There's a lot. No, I'm you are. There are hardworking people out there. I never You're said. just saying that everyone You're brainwashed. tunes in at night and not during the day, which that's a lie. I, you may, get, you may uh, have a couple more thousands of viewers at night than during the day, but still. But I'm basically saying that the people are hardworking people. I'm pretty sure uh, Kelly Clarkson's show would have been canceled. We're not talking Drew about that. getting enough views We're not on her show. about that. She is different. Drew Barrymore has also a morning show or because, an early show. I don't know what time it is, but I like her show. Because they're popular, that's why. And she has a noon show. It's from 2 to 4 because I watch it, okay? 2 no, to 4. Who? 2 to 4. Who? Julie Rubermore. Barrymore. Very more. Very wow, more. Julie, Kevin, are you fucking kidding me? You're not even a fan of hers. I am. She was on screen. I I'm a huge she, fan of her. Wow. She was just on the beginning part, Kevin. And I am a huge fan of that part. It has always Charlie been Charlie Angels? I mean. Charlie Angels, yes. One other movie. Scary movie. Mm -hmm. I put the scary movie, Kevin. Anyways, anyways why are we getting, getting out of topic? We're here. To promote Santa Clarita Diet, Kevin. That was the last show on Netflix. Okay. The fuck? That one did poorly. That's where we only got one season, but we're not. Hey, we're Kevin, not here shut to, the fuck up. We did not, not got one season, Kevin. You don't even know. We're not here. That's to, not a real. You're not even a real fan, then. We're not here to talk about other actors or singers. We're here to have a Q and A, a little discussion. That's why I'm here, right? You said it yourself. <laughs> a little bit discussion. For you to fake, answer fake questions. <laughs> That's why I'm here to have a lot of discussion, answer the people's wow. question by the wow. people from the wow. people. All right. Wow. So if you're just gonna be like wow, that, wow, you're rude. Wow, I'm just gonna wow, walk out. Wow, Whatever. Wow, Bye. You don't even wow, have to pay because wow, the show's gonna be so 